Welcome, boys and girls, to the candy store. Today, our show is all about... Elmer! What are you doing with that pipe in your mouth? Oh, that ain't a real pipe, Miss Lana. That's a bubble pipe. Except for I don't have any bubble. <laughs> Did you lose something? Nope. Then what are you doing? Are we alone? No. There are a lot of boys and girls watching us right now. Uh, can we talk? Well, certainly. I'm on a search. Uh, a journey. A mission. A quest for the mighty power of God. You see, I've heard about it from my mama, and I've even heard it through the great night. I've got to find this mighty power, because I'm just about to lose my mind. Honey, honey, yeah! Uh, I'll see you. I've got to find it. Bye. Elmer, wait! I can tell you where you can find it. But first, I have to tell the boys and girls this. Boys and girls, we're so glad you could join us here on the candy store today. Today, our letter is the letter M. M is for miracles. A miracle is the mighty power of God in action. Ephesians 6.10 says, Be strong in the Lord and His mighty power. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got to go find Elmer. you see a real strange looking man go by here? Magnifying glass? Yeah. A bubble pipe, no bubbles? That's him. Yeah, he mumbled something about looking for mighty power. Uh, we we'll headed off to the health club. I gotta find him and tell him where God's power is. Boys and girls, while I go find Elmer, here's Ryman Simon with today's memory verse. Funny looking hat tied real tight. Goofy looking cape. Two, two, 
And since it is about two o'clock, he's probably at the power plant looking for lightning bugs. Why is he looking for lightning bugs at the power plant? He thinks they go there to recharge. <laughs> well, I gotta go catch him. Hey, wait a minute. Before you go, uh, why don't you pump a little iron? Why not? <laughs> It's a piece of cake. Oh, thanks, Nick. Does my hair look all right? I gotta go find Elmer. If she can lift that much weight, I can too. Spirit and 
Dr. Holmes said that the operation is too dangerous now. Even if they do operate, it probably won't work. Jesus can heal your eye today if you'll let him, said the girl. Jesus? I thought he died a long time ago, said Billy. No, said the girl. Jesus did die on a cross for your sin, but then he was raised from the dead. He's alive today, and he wants to live in your heart and make your eye well. He does? asked Billy. He sure does said the girl. Do you want to pray right now and ask Jesus to come into your heart and forgive you of your sins? Then we'll pray and ask him to heal your eye. That sounds good to me, Billy said. Let's pray. Billy and the girl closed their eyes and prayed right there in the hallway. And Billy asked Jesus to come live in his heart. Then the girl put her hand on Billy's eye patch and prayed for Jesus to heal Billy's eye. Billy didn't feel any different on the outside, but on the inside, Billy knew he had changed. While Billy was thinking about what had just happened, the little girl said, Amen! Then before he could stop her, she reached up and pulled the patch off Billy's eye. Hey! Billy yelled. I'm not supposed to take it off! But you don't need it anymore, said the girl. Look! Billy looked down the hallway. He almost couldn't believe it. I can see, he yelled. Of course you can see, the little girl said. Jesus healed you. Billy covered up his left eye with his hand. I can really see, he yelled. Jesus healed your eye, said the girl. Wow, he sure did, said Billy. Not only that, but he also healed my heart. I'm not even mad at those other kids anymore. You're a brand new person on the inside now, Billy, said the little girl. Jesus lives in your heart now. I've got to tell the other kids what Jesus did for my eye, said Billy. Do you think he wants to live in their hearts too? I'm sure he does, Billy, said the little girl. Good, I just can't wait to tell them about him. Thanks for praying for me. Sure, Billy, anytime, the little girl said. Billy rushed down the hall toward the playground to find the boys and girls in his class. Just as he was about to go out the door, the little girl called out to him. Hey, Billy, she yelled. You forgot this. The girl was holding up the black patch. That old thing, throw it away. I don't need it anymore. Billy ran out to tell the rest of the boys and girls in his class about Jesus. Boys and girls, when you have Jesus living in your heart, God's mighty miracle-working power will work for you. Ephesians 6.10 says, Be strong in the Lord and in His mighty power. Boys and girls, we serve a God of miracles. And me and my good buddy here, Harry the Rabbit, say hello, Harry. Hello, Harry. We want to tell you the story about Elijah and the prophets of Baal. You see, Ahab was king of Israel at the time of this story. And he was a very, very wicked king. Very he wicked. Was. Yes, he was. You see, all the nation of Israel served many gods. The principal god was a god named Baal, and he is not the true and living God. Well, one day, a prophet came to town, and his name was Elijah the Tishbite. Hey, Nicky Jameson, you know what? What, Harry? Why did Elijah bite all those tishes? You said he was a Tishbite. Why didn't he bite those tishes? No, 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 no. That's not what I meant. I mean, you know, that's like his last name or something. I don't know. But anyway, oh. Elijah came to town, and he said... How long are you going to be confused about who the real God is? If Baal is God, let him prove it. And if the true God is God, let him prove it. And so he challenged the prophets of Baal to a duel. And this is what, this is what it was. He said, I want everybody to take a bull. And I want you to bring him to an altar. And we're going to cry out to our gods. I'll cry out to my God. You cry out to your God of Baal. And the true and living God will answer by fire. Yeah. Well, so they said, all right, you're on. So the prophets of Baal went first, got up real early in the morning, and they took a bull, and they put it on the altar. And then they began to cry out and pray to their God. Hey, Nicky James, you know what? What? What did they pray? Did, did they pray, now I lay me down to sleep? No, 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 I don't think that's what they pray here. Oh, I, oh, you know what, Nicky James? What? I bet they prayed rubber dub dub thanks for the grub. No, I don't know, Harry, I don't know what they prayed, but they prayed, and they prayed and cried out to their God all morning. And their God never did answer. No, he didn't. 
And Elijah, the true prophet of God, he began to make fun of him. He said, well, maybe he went to sleep or, or maybe he's talking to somebody. Maybe he even went on vacation. Woo! When he said that, it made those prophets of Baal so mad. They began to pray louder. Hubba, hubba, hubba. A salami, salami, baloney. They even begin to cut themselves with stones. No. Yes, yes. But you know something there? God never did answer. They hey, prayed into the evening. Hey, Nicodemus, what? you know what? What? Maybe those prophets should have called, called on their cellular phone. Called on the cellular. They didn't have cellular phones back they then. They didn't? No, you can't use a cellular phone to talk to God. Oh. But anyway, uh, their God never did answer. And now it's Elijah's turn. Hey, Nicodemus, you know what? What? What were those prophets' names? I don't know what their names what, were. Was it Larry, Moe, and Curly? Well, I don't know. They acted like that, but I don't know what their names were. But it's oh. Elijah's turn. <gasps> now listen. And so Elijah said, bring me the bull. So they brought him a bull. And then Elijah said, now before I pray, dump a barrel of water on the bull. No. Yes. A whole barrel of water. <gasps> they dumped bar a barrel of water on that bull. And then he said, another barrel of water. <gasps> so they took the second barrel of water and dumped that on the bull. Another barrel of water, he said. Woo the third one, they dumped it on the bull. And then Elijah prayed. He said, oh, Lord God, oh, the true and living God. He said, prove this day, God of Abraham, Isaac, and all of Israel, that you are God by answering by fire. And so fire came down from heaven. Uh-oh, real fire came down from heaven. Well... The true fire came down from heaven and hit that bull and it began to burn and it burned up the wood and it burned up the water and it burned up the bull. And that day, God proved that he was a true and living God. Wow. Yeah, it was powerful. And then, and then Elijah said, where are those 450 prophets of Baal? He said, bring them here. And they brought him the prophets and he took them down by the brook Kishon and he killed every one of them. Hey, you know what, Nicky Demas? What? Did Elijah go fishing after he killed all those prophets? I don't know. If well, he, he was down by the book. Did you go? Did he go fishing? I don't know if he went fishing. Hey, Harry. you know what, Nick Demas? What? I bet he used all those tissues he was biting for bait. Harry, we serve a God of miracles, and M is for miracles. He doesn't mean tissues. M. 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 The letter M. Everyone got my bow and a wire. Hey, Elmer. Somebody seems to be troubling you. Oh, yeah. I've got a power shortage. I need to find some power mighty quick. Huh, power, huh? Uh, I think I can help you. Where's that going? Here you go, power. Battery operated power. That's not the kind of power I'm talking about. I need to find mighty power. Huh, mighty power, give me that. Mighty power, I'll be right back. What now? Here you go, mighty power, big power. A car battery. Yeah. Uh, I need more power than that. More power? Uh, okay, wait right here. Oh, I really don't think he's going to be able to help me. Hey, uh, Elmer, is this enough power? Dynamite! Oh! Well, old buddy, old buddy, was that enough power for you, bud? Yeah, yeah, no, 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 that was a lot, a lot of power. But I'm looking for God's mighty power, not dynamite. Well, you are a little hard to please, aren't you? Somebody say power? <laughs> oh. Oh. I can't find God's mighty power anywhere. Oh. I'm going to the mall. Well, I, I hope you find it, you power-hungry mongrel. Wefty, are you okay? I'll bet that's smart. There you are, Elmer. I'm 
so glad I found you. I understand you're looking for God's mighty power. Ooh, that's right, Miss Lena. I can't find it anywhere, so I came to the mall. This there's my favorite store, because I love Christmas. Elmer, this Christmas store reminds me of where you can find God's mighty power. Would you like to know where it is? Boy, howdy, would I? Tell me. Elmer, God's mighty power was given to the earth when God sent Jesus to be born here. He's God's son. He did mighty miracles. He healed the sick. He raised the dead. He even caused the blind to see, and he turned water into wine. But the greatest display of his power was when he died on the cross for our sin, and God raised him from the dead. And when you know Jesus, you can pray and see God's mighty power work for you. Ephesians 6.10 says, Be strong in the Lord and in his mighty power. But Elmer? Oh, yes, Miss Lena? The greatest display of that power for us is when Jesus forgives our sins and gives us a brand new heart. Oh, yeah. I'm glad Jesus gave me a new heart. Me too. And boys and girls, you can have a brand new heart today. You can see God's mighty power work for you. And if you want to do that, we're going to bow our heads and pray. And you follow what Elmer says. Elmer, I'm going to pray, and the boys and girls are going to follow you. Father God. Oh, Father God. I thank you. I thank you. For sending your mighty power. For sending your mighty power. In Jesus. In Jesus. And I believe. And I believe. That Jesus is your son. That Jesus is your son. And I believe. And I believe. That you raised him from the dead. And that you raised him from the dead. And because of that. And because of that. I am saved. I am saved. Thank you. Thank you. For saving me. For saving me. Amen. Amen. Wow, thanks a lot for telling about God's mighty power. You know what? I'm so excited I got to tell somebody. Bye. That's the way it is with God's mighty power. When you get it, you want to give it away. Ephesians 6.10 says, Be strong in the Lord and His mighty power. about Willie George Ministries or other faith foods products.